Well, hello, gang, and welcome back to Kenshi. I restarted the game, which seems to have fixed this derp monger. Also, somebody woke up inside and isn't very happy. Hungry bandit leader. I'm gonna, maybe he was sit laying there playing dead the entire time. And now he's back. Don't push him outside. You damn freaks. Somebody plump pick him up. We'll take him and put him in a prison cage too. He is one of their leaders, so... How are you doing, buddy? Are you still starving to death? Yep. If I let you out, will you, uh... Keep your shit together, maybe? No? Okay. I guess you can just stay in there then. Dying from fucking hunger. Okay. I guess we're gonna let this guy out once we're done. I, I feel bad. I mean, again, I shouldn't. Can I just... I wish I could just throw him out of town. Like, we're going to give him another chance here. Hey, Grieve Wraith. Messing stuff up again. I don't see anything out there that will come for me. Okay, buddy. You're free to go. I'm giving you a chance to leave. You instantly want to start shit. I think I'm just going to let him bleed out this time and let Rex eat him. Or Dino eat him. Done messing with you. You've eaten enough of my food. My question is, if we can get this guy to join, he's got 27 martial arts, his strength and dexterity and stuff are terrible, but... He's got something we can work with. 37 iron plates. Let's go ahead and get started on... I should probably place the beds in here now. Turn this into a semi-hospital. Let's see, interior, bed, that's all the slave stuff, we'll just use a regular bed. I think it's probably better to place it like this. Problem is, there we go. Say, so how many can I fit if I don't, I don't want to overlap their nodes, that way people can at least more easily come and go and maybe not uh, have pathing issues hey both sides are open there okay just place I can almost place them actually end to end because it's not like people need to get off the ends of the bed so And then this is basically a tiny little uh, hospital or just inn for us. Build that. I don't have enough fabric to build all of them, so I need to... How much rum do I have? Up to 13. Okay. So yeah, I can drop that. What I need to do is get rid of some of these. I've got way too many bandages in here. We'll take the teeth. We'll take the claws. Go sell that stuff at the way station. Out of trading range, how dare you. Keep the splint kit. I don't need bolts. Somebody else just carry those for now. And plump. You're done. It's time to make a supply run. What I should do, honestly, with Plump is take these books with me as well. In fact, maybe that's what I'll do. Let's... Okay. Yeah, we're going to send Plump back to Squin. He's going to do some research for a bit. Go ahead and take all this rum. 
We'll buy some supplies. Uh, the first stop is obviously going to be the gate. How fast are you now? 24? More than good. There's an Inquisitor there with a bounty on his head. Sorry, Rex. It's time to... How about you go follow Novia? Guard her for a bit. And Plump, we'll see you when you arrive at the way station, hopefully. Other than that, probably just let the base keep going here. Got more beds constructed now. There's a part of me that still... Maybe I should just dismantle this. Well, can I drop those on the ground? I can. Okay. Dismantle you. Don't need you there anymore. Oh, hey. Starving bandits. Who the hell is attacking my gate? Triangle hunters. Triangle bandits. Okay. Um, all of you... We're going to join the mercenaries, of course. Uh, get your ass up here. We'll let them in. Come on in. You're a bit too late to rescue your friend, though. I believe that they're be bleeding out over by the cages. And truthfully, it doesn't matter if the mercenaries are going to join in here. They will. But I think we... I think... I think the group we've got here could take on this small, this small of a squad. I'm gonna be shifting around a lot in these next few videos. I've uh, I got a new chair, and even though it's super comfortable, it doesn't it doesn't actually fit my setting style. I prefer to set cross-legged, Indian style, since I'm short, and I don't like my feet just dangling off the chair. Like, I'm 5'6". Most desks, if I raise my chair high enough so my arms are level with the desk, it, uh, it's frustrating. And so I said Indian style. And this new chair is... I'm going to have to learn to work with it. My old chair was scuffed and fucked, to say the least. Plump, you're already there. Of course you are. I believe the base can take care of themselves. We've still got four days left with our mercenaries. Come on, game. I believe in you. I know there's a lot to load here, but... We've got places to be. So what are you selling today? Anything good? Anything worth my money? Probably not. Got 12,000 credits. We'll pawn that off on you. That leaves me 18,000. Damn. Um, I'm, I think I should buy the rest of these books. We're going to do as much research as we can while, while we're there. And plump all the way back to... Our dear old town of Squin. We'll set a path right for the middle of it. And we'll see you when you get there. I'm not going to follow him on that journey. If I see him get attacked, I might jump over there. Otherwise, I don't care. Let's see. Who's got the big backpack? Kyra. Let's see what these guys have. I dare you to catch, try and catch me stealing. I dare one of you to say anything. I mean, I guess bandages are good. Probably don't need to pause it either. There's no jobs for you. Don't run anywhere. Look, look at all this beautiful iron. And when you assholes wake up, you can't really do anything to me. That's what I'm talking about. Triangle horn. I need somebody else to wield those. Didn't somebody else need pants? Yeah, diabetic. 
Guess what we've got for you? A brand new pair of Drifter's leather pants. I can't promise they haven't been soiled, but at the very least now, they're yours. And let's see, you are overweight now, so we'll just let you hang on to all that stuff. Slowly raise that strength. Again, I need to overload more people, don't I? Demis, you're already a little bit overweight. 29 out of 17. Go ahead and pick up some of this extra gear. Why not? Who else needs it? Rallius, you definitely do. Um, how about you pick up... How much does just raw stone weigh? Huh. It doesn't, it doesn't actually weigh enough. Okay. Kind of sucks. What do I got? Blade Iron Club probably won't be that much weight. Spiked Helmet. Triangle Beak will be, but he'll have to equip that. Do you have room for it? Yep. 20 out of 20. Might as well grab... What is that, a hat? Triangle Horn. Come on, you can get it. Or not. Heart Protector. Equip that. Uh, I guess that's good. 25 out of 20. I still don't know what to do with these. I went to the mods uh, page on the workshop, and it doesn't say what to do with rusted empty frames, unfortunately. Apparently there are working ones out there, but I don't know what this does. And there were multiple people asking in the comments, and nobody had any response, so whatever you are, uh, I probably just need to sell and get rid of you. I guess I could just leave you there and maybe maybe you'll just randomly and spontaneously wake up. You're empty, so you need a soul. We need to find a soul vessel and fill it. And put the soul vessel in. And Plump has made it. So, the question... I say, did you teleport in? Where the hell did I even... Where did you end up at? You made it halfway. I'm almost proud of you. I swear that this mountain right here... Has, um... A lot of pathing problems with it. I've had multiple characters or... Units just take weird paths around that rock. I recognize it just from looking at it. It's so... So notorious. I was hoping you were already at Squin, but... Not that lucky. Come on, game. It's like, I'm loading in crazy squads to come kill you, so just hang on. Bear with me. 254 cactus there. What is going on? Yeah, I figured it was loading something. That is a lot of them. Okay. Uh, everybody fall back just a little bit. Fight the ones that came through. I'm gonna open the gate, I think, when it gets to 200 condition. I cannot let them destroy it. I have to be able to close it. Uh, say, can I close out some of them? Even losing just a few would help. The squad kind of splits up. Where's my mercenaries at? I'm sure they're in the, the fray somewhere. We've got five of them distracted with the gate. Okay. I see good teamwork back here. Slaxer's holding his own kind of against two. The new armor is paying dividends. The mass is down. All the way back here. 
Uh, was that on camera when you went down? Were you soloing back there? Rex is down with a massive chest wound. However, it looks like he'll recover. Door down to 150. I am opening it. Get him, Dino. Revy, both of your legs have been slashed to hell. They're mangled and tore up. Slaxer is holding his own. Very little damage. King, Novia doing fine. Cornelia, you've got a bad chest wound and your arms are all gushing blood. Cyber Zombie, massive chest wound about to go down. Charlos is doing pretty good except for a leg injury. Diabetic, good job there. He stabs a guy through the spine and they go down. Aurelius, not bad. I say it's not always about how much damage you're doing. Sometimes it's simply about staying alive. Blocking blows, taking as little damage as possible. Wasting the enemy's energy and resolve. And there we go. Finish him! We were just hungry! So's everyone, pal. Oh, damn. Dino's grown up a little bit. Pretty sure he looks slightly bigger. Still counted as a pup. Uh, everyone, medic, if you haven't yet. I don't need DeWiki here dying on me. Forty-five hours to go. Only ten percent looks like a slave. Hasn't been discovered yet. I assume that most people will hopefully go to bed if they need it. Yeah, go repair the door first. We've got plenty of free beds to go rest in. Dinosaurs murdering people like normal. Menders running in the background. Drifters walking around without a care in the world. Uh, everybody rescue. They're like, hang on, man. Door is more important. If anybody needs to rest, I assume that they'll go do it automatically. I was kind of waiting to see if they would. Keep on walking, wild, wild bulls. I can't imagine them getting pissed off and wanting to come charge at the gate, but... You never know. So I've got a total of three building materials right now, unless there's some hiding in people's inventories. I need to save up probably about 40 building materials and then redesign my walls. That's going to be my next big project, uh, primarily so that I can avoid things like this happening, where the enemy just gets to stand there and freely attack. I'm sick and tired of having to either watch my gate be destroyed or open it and let them in. I want to fill them full of arrows. That looks like a caravan almost. The Holy Nation. Walking through with a pack bull. Hey. Okay, hang on. Who's my quickest person that I've got in here. 19, 13, 21. Slaxer, you're still pretty quick. Novia at 22. Go. I need you to go talk to this skeleton guy right here. If I can recruit that whole... Oh, fuck. Rex. I always send the person that Rex is... Just, that I've got Rex guarding. Um... I don't want you just to stand around and feel lonely, so go follow Cornelia. Novia approaches the old glitchy knight. I need some mercenaries to guard my outpost. I want you guys for... eight days. Okay, let's open the gate. 
get everyone back in here. They, they are kind of slow. They're like, we move at our own pace. Oh shit, a tyrant. Okay, you go back to work. It, it wants the food. Are they going to have to fight a tyrant? I mean, that thing is pretty wounded. Attacking others. Are you going to come to my gate and try to start shit? Holy crap, it is. Um, I guess it's a damn good thing I hired those skeletons, huh? Everybody except Plump. Yeah, Plump, you're going to have to wait. Uh, skeletons, come on. As soon as they turn the corner, maybe they'll start attacking that thing. I mean, I hired you guys to defend my outpost. I'm going to open it. I don't have much of a choice. And everybody... Attack this thing. Oh my god, this is such a bad idea. It is wounded. Maybe once I get them to attack it, I'll back off. Yep, the skeletons go after it. I really don't want anything to do with it. Whoops. Fifty-three damage. Okay. Um, that went better than I was expecting. Stay asleep while I remove your shit. Okay, skeletons. You guys are free to stay here. Make the place feel at home. Do whatever you gotta do. Mikasa, Sukasa, things like that. I, I guess everybody get back to work. Heal up, do whatever if you were wounded. I don't think you were. Yeah, fix the gate. And plump. Did you get stuck again? You know, I do have a mod that is supposed to fix the pathfinding. It might not be in the right order, which could be leading to issues. Could just be that it doesn't work properly with, yeah, you know, with something else, and it doesn't matter what load order I use. Also, I'm not interested in looting any of these damn starving bandits. Tired of dealing with them. Dino's happy. Rex is kind of happy. Rex would be happier if I was chopping off their limbs. If he had something to go play fetch with. This is going to be real interesting if the Holy Nation shows up to say hi. Again, I'm surprised they haven't since we've been here. Patrolling town. Glitchy Thal. Or Thrall. That one doesn't need... Some of these don't even have a head. How normal is that for a skeleton skeleton to be missing their brain? Where the hell is your brain kept at? I don't even know what mod I would have that could possibly be interfering with that. I don't have anything that touches skeletons as far as I know. Again, I tried to stay away from custom races and body modification stuff just due to the issues I've had with it. Plump, are you there yet? Are you there yet? He is indeed there yet. So, even landed you right in the shop. We're going to keep all this stuff. I've got a small supply of books. Let's go see what we can knock out with it. I'm glad that our house is still standing. I mean, if shit ever hit the fan at my base, we could always just come back here. Retreat with our tail between our legs. Okay, so you're going to be researching this. And I'm going to completely remove everything else because I don't want you accidentally leaving town or doing something dumb. Since I don't want to be babysitting you the entire time. Let's see, medium building shells, that would give me L house, long house, and bug house. Okay. Hemp based fabric, composite runners. That's only one book. 
Let's see, electronics, battery power too. I will need batteries at some point, but... Here we could craft fundamental electrical components and parts. That's not bad. Gives me electrical work, workbench, electrical storage. Takes four books. Battery capacity. Each advancement in this study can increase battery capacity by 60. Light posts. Torches will do for now. Let's not get carried away with stuff. Improved stone mining 2 would be good. That would give me stone mining 3. As well as iron plates 3. It's a total of 7 books. Automatic water hauling wells. It's from a mod, of course. Having access to water is vital, but it presents us with the logistic problems of transporting it and storing the water. Connecting the wells and redirecting the pumps to water tanks will automate and free up some hands. It will need a bit more power to pump it, but it will save us the heavy lifting. So I think probably that would free up pro like six of my people who spend all of their time pumping water. It, I don't know. I'd probably have to build multiple wells, of course, to keep up with it, but... I can build six automatic wells, and as long as I've got power for them, we'll, we'll continue to have water. Stone processor requires too much manpower. We need to improve the design so we can get more output with less workers. But it's going to need to be powered by a generator. Of course. Placing these on roofs of buildings can collect the rainwater in areas where wells can't be used. Neat, but we can use wells, so... Medicine, better first aid kits, splints. I'm not able to make most of that stuff yet. I don't care about training. So it looks like we'll do improved. Let me do automatic. Well, no, we'll do improved stone mining first. And then automatic wells. And then iron plates three. And then let's do... Battery. Hmm. Probably battery capacity. And then battery power. Do battery capacity. Four. I'm going to be running out of books at some point. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Should definitely do medium building shells. I don't like L houses, really. Or maybe it's the long houses I don't like. This is an L house, I think. So, yeah. We need a couple L houses in the base. Now, what else can I make? Or what else can I research? I need to start going looking for ancient science books at some point, it looks like. Still don't know where to find those. Howard Stone Refinery. We'll do that. Improve Stone Mining 3. And I, I'm guessing that is it, as far as my books go. Do light posts, and now that's it. Okay. Get to work, Plump. You've got a lot of research ahead of you. He puts his nose to the book and begins scribbling notes, drawing out blueprints, and researching ancient technology. By the time he leaves here, he's going to have a backpack full of rolled up blueprints and new ideas. Things that he's pieced together from those books. For now though, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Our base, I feel, is safer than it's ever been. It's cost me a fair amount of money, but we are good for quite a while now. Up until day 84 at least. Uh, when the tech hunters leave, I'll probably just let them go, and we'll be keeping the skeletons. There are far more of them, so a much better investment. And it looks like their skills are better. This almost feels like cheating. But I really don't care at this point, huh? Still got a lot of game left, so... I guess I'll see you all next time.